how to fix mic delay in FL Studio 20. Super important one, also super simple. There are two main reasons why you are facing delay in FL Studio 20. Let's get into it. The first mistake that causes delay is you've got too many plugins active in your FL Studio project. This is my Spotify ready vocal mixing secrets template. And as you can see, nothing, none of these plugins are enabled. In order to turn off the plugins for each channel, you just click over here, okay? So on the mixer, you come over here, this has a bunch of plugins. You're like, no, 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 can't have any plugins running while I'm recording, turn them off. Super, super easy. Also, don't forget your plugins on your master track. Sometimes I forget those. Having plugins active will use your CPU and cause you to experience those delays. Before we get into the second reason, if you wanna get your music heard, you need your music on streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal. In order to get your music on streaming platforms, you need the license to use the beats that you're making your music on. Good news is you can get five of my best beats for absolutely free and you can get five of my basic licenses to go with those beats. Those five basic licenses would usually cost you $129.95 but you're getting them for absolutely free all you need to do is go to jcartray.com forward slash free beats link is also in the description down below let's get back into this video so the next reason your vocals are delayed is because your buffer length is too high in order to change your buffer length you need to go to options go to audio settings come over here and change your buffer length Honestly, I'm only using the FL Studio ACO driver right now because if I don't use this driver, you won't be able to hear the audio from FL Studio while I'm screen recording. But I would suggest you use whatever driver comes with your audio interface if you have one. For example, my audio interface is this Presonus Studio 24C. So I'd use the Studio USB ACO driver. With that, I can go even lower than 256. I can go to 128, which is way better. But if you're using the FL Studio driver, go to the lowest that you can. That will be 256, but you may still get a little bit of delay. Another solution you can try, if you've tried both of these and they're not working, which they should. I've had no issues whenever I have made sure that both of these are in check. But if for some reason, maybe your CPU on your computer is just trash and there's just no hope for you, then what you can do is you can come down here, go to your mixer and you can actually set up some track latency. So however off your vocal recording is, you can come here and you can compensate for that. Let's say your vocal recording is off about 50 milliseconds or 1B or what have you, you can just come over here, set your track latency and be like, okay, make sure that you're compensating by 1B. And that's it. All your delay problems should be gone. If you like this video, you should watch my video on how to record without hearing yourself next. That will really help you with your recording in FL Studio. You can check that video out in the description down below or over there. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.